Lesson 120, graphing nonlinear equations. This is a lot like lesson 119. Um, a linear equation is just one that would generate a straight line. So these are graphs that are straight lines. Those are linear. So if you look at the word linear, you can see line is the first four letters. Now a non-linear equation, it's just what it sounds like, graphs that are not straight lines. So to graph a non-linear equation, one, you're going to make a table of ordered pairs. You want to include negative numbers, so for your x you're going to want to include negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers. When, when we do linear graphs that are straight lines, you really only need um, two points. But when we're doing nonlinear, you want to have lots of points. So include negatives, zeros, positives. You're going to graph all the points that you found, the x, y pairs. And then three, you're going to connect with a smooth curve. And you're going to remember to put arrows on the end of your curve. That just shows that it will continue on. So here's an example. We want to graph y equals 8 divided by x. And remember, x cannot equal 0 because it's in the denominator and we can't divide by 0. So if we're going to make a table of values. So when x is 1, y is 8. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 4, y is 2. And when x is 8, y is 1. Now we can't do 0 because we can't divide by 0, but we can do negative numbers. So if we do negative 1, y is negative 8, negative 2, y is negative 4, negative 4, um, 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2, negative 8, 8 divided by negative 8 is just negative 1. So when we graph this, <coughs> we need to go up 8, right, then left 8, down 8. So we go over 1 and up 8, over 2 and up 4, up 4, no, over 4 and up 2, over 8 and up 1. So this is what our smooth curve is going to look like. And we just put arrows to show that it's going to continue on. When x is negative 1, y is negative 8, negative 2, y is negative 4. When x is negative 4, y is negative 2. And when x is negative 8, y is negative 1. Notice that we picked numbers that would divide into 8 evenly so that we, could, we didn't have to worry about decimals or fractions. We could just draw a nice smooth curve there. Now we have one more example um, graph y equals x squared divided by 2. So here's another example graph y equals x squared divided by 2. So we'll do x and y and we'll pick 0 divided by 2 is just 0 2 squared is 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 is just 2 when x is 4 we square we get 16 divided by 2 we get 8 let's do 1 squared is 1 divided by 2 is just 1 half how about negative 1 would be negative 1 half? No, it wouldn't, because when you square a negative 1, you get positive 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. So it should be positive 1 half. How about a negative 2? When you square it, you get a positive 4 divided by 2 is 2. Negative 4 would give you 8. Well, that's kind of cool. Then when we graph, we're going to go up 
8. And we're going to go to the right 4, to the left 4. We don't have to go down because our y was never a negative number. So we had 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, 8. 1 was 1 half. Negative 1 was 1 half. Uh, negative 2 was a positive 2. Negative 4 was 8. Notice that it's, um, it's reflection. It reflects there in the y-axis. That's kind of cool. Makes a curve. This shape is actually called a parabola, in case you were wondering. Parabola. There you go. That's the end of the lesson.